What's going on you guys, Claire? Welcome back to the channel of Commerce, and welcome back to this tutorial series going over Material UI inside of React. So in this video, we're gonna be covering the switch component in Material UI. So let's go ahead and get started. If this is your first uh, part of the series that you're watching, go back to the first film and it shows you how to install and configure Material UI inside of a React.js project. So here we're gonna be working on the switch component here, the switch input. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file in here. I'm gonna call it switch example.jsx, just like that. Our AFCE is gonna generate our functional component here. Okay, and then let's go into our app.js and we'll comment that out. And let's go ahead and import our switch. Our switch example is what we called it. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. And we'll slide our example, or our switch example. Let's check this out. So npm run dev will start up your development server. You should see switch example, which is what we have right there. So inside mui.com slash material dash UI, let's go ahead and click on this button there. If you're not already there, we're going under this components tab here, and then we're working on inputs and we're just at the switch just like that. Okay. So the switch is pretty easy. Um, basically just, you can toggle on and off. It's more of you call it a switch or a toggle. Either one's fine. You can disable it. You can add a, a label to it. So let's go ahead and have a look at this, this source code here. So what we want to do, just import the switch from at MUI slash material slash switch. So we'll just import that here at the top. And then we have this a label here. So we want to copy that over as well. We'll paste that in and then let's bring in our switch right there. Okay. So I'm just going to copy that and we'll paste that in there. Let's go ahead and save. We'll get rid of the space there and let's have a look at what we have there. So as you can see here, we have all of our switches or toggles. So you can toggle on and off. Um, there you have that one there. It's kind of cool. Um, so this first one here, uh, default checked, so if we refresh, as you can see by default, it's already toggled on. Uh, you can remove that if you want there. Um, go ahead and refresh and it's off. So we'll leave that back there. Uh, you can also disable, like you see these last two uh, are disabled. So again, it's just a, a, a property here we can add. So if you add that on any of these by default, that's kind of cool. You can just kind of toggle on and off. So that's pretty neat there. Um, let's see what else we have here. So we have some labels in here. That's kind of nice there. So let's just kind of form group is what they surrounded those. Let's just kind of grab that form group just like that. And we'll just paste this in here. Whoops, just like that. I keep opening up my sidebar there, command B. Uh, there we go. So we're gonna need to import, let's see here, form control label and form group. So we'll import that one, we'll import the control group. Let's go ahead and have a look. So there we have it. That gives us some labels here uh, off to the side. You label, you can put, um, opt in, opted in, something like that. You know, if somebody's opting in, true, false. So it's kind of cool. So this one is required. So that's kind of neat there. You can add a required property and also disable just like the others as well. Um, let's see, that, that pretty much wraps it up. We can change the colors, also the sizing. Uh, if you want to change size, you can say uh, on this one here, it's required one. We can say size small, you can go ahead and save. Should shrink it down a little bit. Oh, let's see here. Size small. Size small. There we go. Okay. So I'm on the wrong one there. So this needs to go on the switch here. So there we go. Put it on the switch. Let's go ahead and save. So we're adding it to that switch component there. So you can see that kind of lowered it down, made it a little bit smaller. So kind of cool there. Of course you can change the colors. So uh, we'll do this first one here. Let's do this first opted in one here. So opted in, we can change the uh, color. So we'll say color property, whoops, color property. We can say, I think it's primary is what we have now. We'll say secondary, let's go ahead and save. Uh, let's see there, color secondary on the switch. I keep adding it on the wrong one. Let's see here, we'll add it to this one here. So we'll say color secondary. Let's go ahead and save. If we refresh, if we toggle that on, you can now see that it's purple. So kind of cool. You can change uh, the colors there. Um, we'll do this one here as well. So color, you can also have maybe success, which should be a green color. There you go. And then I think the error is what they call red warning. So we could say Warning, maybe if something's toggled on, you can add a, a warning message there as well. Or see, that's uh, yellow. So kind of cool there. Uh, let's see what else we have there. Controlled. 
can add some names to it there. Oh, this is kind of cool. So yeah, let's look at this here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at this here. So it looks like you're gonna need to add a lot of code in there, which is fine. You can just copy and paste. I don't wanna go through all that right now. Um, you can assign some labels in there as well, which we just did, assign responsibility, be careful. So yeah, I think that about wraps up, about wraps up the switch example. So I hope you got some value out of this and learned how to use the switch component of Material UI inside of React. So smash the like button if you got some value. Let's move on to the next one.